Let us move on to page number 114 and 141. So far we have learned about different effect of force. Force can change the speed of an object. Force can change the direction of an object. Force can change the shape of an object. Here also we are going to learn one more effect of force which is of that force depend on the area of the object. For this let's move on to activity 1. You are going to stand on a Dunlop bed which is made of plastic kind of soft material and ask your friend to observe how much it is pressed inward. Now you are going to lie down straight on the Dunlop bed and again you are going to ask your friend to observe how much it is pressed. Your friends definitely he tell that when you are standing on the bed it was pressed more deeply than when you are lying on bed. It is because when you are standing your all your weight act on your feet that is what the bed pressed in words but when you are lying on the bed the whole weight was distributed all over your whole body which has larger area as compared to your feet that is what when you lie down the bed is pressed less deeply now if we look on the activity too you can understand better here aim is to show that force has different effects over different area. Here the materials required are a heavy book and pencils. Now you are going to keep a heavy book on your palm and balance it. Now you are going to balance the same book on a small pencil which is placed on your palm. In which case your palm get pain. Definitely it is in second case the book which is rested on the pencil causes more pain than the first case because the book both the books are having same weight in first case the force is spread all over the large area of your palm but in the second case the same force is concentrated over a small area that is the tip of the pencil thus we get pain in the second case because force has different effect on different area now you tell me in which case the effect of force is greater by the book. Definitely the both the force exerted on the palm is similar but in second case our, get, our palm get pain because of more force exerted by the book. Because the entire force is concentrated on a small area that is the tip of the pencil. So which causes pain? Small area, more force. Whereas in first case, large area, same force, so it does not cause pain. In second case, same force is concentrated on less area. That is what it causes severe pain. It produces larger pressure. In the first case, it produces less pressure. In second case, it produces larger pressure. So pressure depends upon two factors. One is force, the other is area. More the area, less the pressure. Less the area, more the pressure. So, pressure and area are inversely proportional to each other. Pressure is inversely proportional to area. But force is directly proportional to pressure. More the force, more the pressure. Less the force creates less pressure. The other name of force is thrust. So, pressure equal to thrust by area. Yes, a unit of pressure is Pascal. What is one Pascal? When one Newton force is acted on one meter square area is called as one Pascal. Pressure is scalar quantity because it has only magnitude not direction. In particular point the pressure of air exert in all the direction. There is no specific direction for the pressure. So Pressure is a scalar quantity, not a vector quantity. Here are some examples to state the effect of pressure. The first example is, we can walk on the sand not easily, whereas camel can walk on the sand very easily because camel's feet is broad, it has large surface area of the feet, so it cannot sink inside, its feet cannot sink inside the sand. It can walk easily on the sand. Whereas comparing to camel, our feet is so smaller area. It occupies small area on the sand. So 
our body our leg will sink into the sand it is not easy for us to walk on the sand our school bag strap are made of thick cloth because it provide large area so that we don't feel more pressure on our body thus we can easily carry our carry our school bag with a wide strap